so friends in our last session we have seen that uh, what is validation in this session we will see what is dollar touched and dollar untouched states through an example hello friends in our last session we have seen how to validate through angular js so for that i have uh, told you that three methods first one is input and form state the second one is uh, validation directives and the third one is through css class so out of these three i am going to show you a beautiful practical example of uh, how to validate your form that is the first uh, state that is input and form state so we will now elaborate this uh, uh, through a demo through an example and then you will be able to understand the how to use the basic states uh, which AngularJS provides and which helps you to validate your form so let's make a example I have already written a example here which is uh, containing this script location and the body tag and the head script etc so here I have given a title that is angular validation and this SRC is online and then my head tag close then body tag opens and here I will write the code so let's make a form method is equal to post name is equal to my form and uh, write no validate so whatever the validation would be there it would be inside this form tag so inside this form tag i will write the controls all the inputs whatever so uh, whenever we use validation it is uh, it could be for control or it could be for your form elements means element with form a form with elements okay so here i have uh, made a form name that is my form and inside that form i will create some elements and uh, i will use the states so let's create an element like input tag so i'm writing the div inside this div i'm writing enter your name and write this input tag input type is equal to text name is equal to so i have written enter your name input type is equal to text and name is equal to name and ng model is equal to name so always keep it in your mind that uh, whenever you name your input element the name attribute and this ng attribute the value of these two must be same then only you can uh, validate this element so here I am closing this so this is my input element so whenever user will uh, type anything inside this element I want to show some message uh, to in order to understand the various states input states so you have to show some message then only you would be able to understand for that reason I am writing a span tag So inside this span tag what I will do I will write ng show you you must know that is ng show is a predefined directive whose purpose who takes which takes true and false if it takes true ng show is equal to true then it will show this element and if it is false then it will not show this element so inside this ng show I am using instead of writing true directly what i will do is that i will uh, track the state and since the states that is a uh, touched untouched valid invalid this returns me a boolean value that is true false so i will use those states and according to those states uh, uh, occurrence 
the value will be set so here what I will write that my form name that is my form dot that input type name so input type is text and the name is name so I will write the name and I mean name then dot dollar touched so dollar touched is state of this input type so what does it say that uh, whenever user will come to that input element it means that whenever I will put focus on this element so this value this whole value the my form dot name dot touched this value would be true so as a result this span tag would be shown to user so in this way I can write any message inside this span tag so in this way I can write any message inside this span tag and then you user would be able to see that message and user would be able to understand that what state is fired so let's write you touched me okay then save your file give some kind of style so that uh, you would be able to see some changes so write style is equal to color is equal to yellow so this is my part of code written to track the state of touched okay so I will uh, save this it is saved and now I will run this in Chrome so here you can see the it is loaded and the enter your name and this is the text box so since I click this text box so the moment I will go away from text box or I will do un I will unfocus this it will show me the message that I am touched uh, 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 so you can see this so let's change that to color to green now save this now again run this so I'm touching so see you touched me it is saying that you touched me means that touched uh, state is fired and then in ng show it set that uh, true so let's go to inspect element so this part becomes true when it becomes true whenever you touch this element then it becomes true so this is the reason why this span tag is now visible and in earlier case what happened in this case this value is false so that's why this span tag this text is not visible here so whenever I write something inside this so you can see that is ng touched is right now and the ng touched is fired untouched so the moment I clicked here so you can see that this value you it is the class is ng hide applied okay and the, I will whenever I will leave this it will change to the class is removed okay and the another class is applied that is ng touched ng not empty ng valid so these are the class which applies whenever you use this state and touch dollar touched so for better purpose uh, you have uh, shown you the developer tool so through there you can understand the how the styles how the classes are applied whenever you fire whenever you use this uh, state that is touched okay so now you have understood what is touched so let's check how to uh, what happens when it is untouched and what does that mean so simply write un t o u c h e d that is untouched so in this moment what will happen that i have not touched that element so it will show me that uh, output whenever my file will load first time then it will show 
that I am not touched. Okay, cool. Hmm. Let's make another span and right here touched. I am touched and let's make it change this color to red save this so in this case what happens whenever your file will be loaded in browser this value would automatically be true because you have not touched this element so it will show you this message that I am not touched. The moment you touch that, this value would be false. So ng show would be false. So this whole content would, would be hidden from you. And at that case, this would be visible to you. Okay. So let's check. So you can see that I am not touched we have not saved that save this now again refresh your browser so yeah you can see that I am not touched so here what happens that uh, untouched state is fired and that value is true at the loading of the this file so whenever I am clicking this it will be hidden from you and the new value would become that is I am touched so in this case what happens you see in browser this is my span tag which is I am touched okay so this is hidden because I am not enter I am not entering anything inside this text box I have not touched this text box so far so that's why this class is applied that is ng hide and this is fire that is ng untouched okay and in this case what happens in this case when untouched so it is the class ng height is not applied here and here it is ng untouched okay and this is ng empty so in this case what happened this is true so that's why it is visible to you okay so whenever you click here and click outside or write anything okay and click outside so see what happens this ng hide is removed from here and as a result I am touched is shown to you and that hide part ng hide class is now applicable to this span and as a result I am not touched is hidden from you because it is touched already so that's why it is now not visible okay so this is the story behind this touched and untouched let's move to another states so friends we have seen that dollar touched and dollar untouched states as an example in our next session we will see dollar valid dollar dirty and dollar pristine as an example